What is up guys, I'm Ineos for Tekken Bits here and today I'm going to show you how to install the Windows 8 release preview. That's not the consumer preview, it has a few different functions in it and I'm going to show you how to install it on VMware or any other virtual machine program. So it's actually very easy but I just wanted to show a few steps so uh, just to make sure that you guys can enjoy Windows 8 that you can adapt to it and if you're on a Mac you have a new Windows operating system and maybe you can switch to it that's a good idea alright let's start with the tutorial so as you can see I have clicked the link down below that is before uh, you have subscribed to our channel so first subscribe then you can click the link um, a bit of a rip off in here but okay just uh, click subscribe and then go to this link you will be able to see this window up in here and as you can see you can subscribe to the Windows 8 newsletter but we won't do that and in here you can see uh, English, Chinese, Swedish, Turkish whatever you want um, in my case I'm Dutch I cannot download Dutch because well we are st such a small country and nobody speaks Dutch in the rest of uh, Europe and all that so just click 64-bit uh, if you have a 64-bit operating system or 32-bit if you have a 32-bit operating system if you don't know whether you are a 64 or 32 just click Windows key computer right click on that click properties and in here you will be featured uh, what you have so in my case 64 bit operating system which means I'm okay okay so click download and go ahead and download that sucker this will take a while uh, in my case it will durate for 20 minutes and I'll get back to you as soon as it has ended And as we are finishing the download, after the 20 minutes of boring gazing to, until the loader bar has filled up, I would like to point out that you can follow us on our website or through uh, Twitter, namely TekkenBits.com or at TekkenBits. If you do want to have a chat with me uh, about a suggestion for the website, you can either contact me on my email address, which will be in the box below otherwise you can contact me on skype which is also tech in bits so let's go on with the tutorial then since i see that i have downloaded the file so as so as you guys can see i have downloaded it and appointed the folder in, in which it has been saved so let's get to it uh, fire up your Windows firmware in my case I have Windows firmware workstation 8 um, sorry for that um, comes in a premium price but it's totally worth it um, just click create new virtual machine and click typical and then um, from an ISO image just browse through um, that folder so in my case I have it in documents and touch for YouTube and uh, click that it's an ISO image which is normal for installation of operate operating systems just click next and if you have done the update on uh, your workstation or vi a virtual machine for that matter uh, you will have the option Windows 8 and Windows 8 uh, times 64 so the 64 is of course for the 64 bits and the uh, Windows 8 is for the 32 bits so in my case uh, we are installing 64 bit just click next and in my case it's the second one I made so make that a hundred and twenty gigabytes you can choose this um, but in my case I would like to double what they recommend um, since my hard drive is uh, large enough and I always choose multiple files because one single file is more able to crash or for that matter I just choose multiple files 
Um, as you can see, you have an overview here of your settings as of that, but as you can see, memory is just one gig appointed. So I would like to change that, and if you do want to change that, just click Customize Hardware, and a new window will pop up. So as you can see, one gig of RAM. So I will up that until two gigs. Uh, processors are leave it at one, but I have a four core, so I can appoint two processors to that. Um, f uh, the rest you can leave at uh, normal, but you can add some extra things like printer serial ports if you still have them, and uh, other things. But in my case, I don't need to use those, so I can click close and click finish. One thing to point though, and listen carefully, this is a very difficult step, is that you enable uh, hardware virtualization on your CPU, uh, which is in the BIOS that you will enable this option. I will put a link down below to a tutorial or a video if I make one. Um, in order to enable that in your BIOS. If you would like to have a video in that, please put that in the comments. I will do so as soon as possible. This is a very, it's not difficult, but it's an essential step in this tutorial. So let's go on. As you can see, it has now booted and uh, English, 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 and mine isn't US. It's actually Dutch if they have that. Oh, brilliant. They have Dutch and I can click next and I can click install now and it will install it in the virtual machine so then again I'll pause this video since this will probably take a while and of course in here in this window just pop your product key in here um, uh, from uh, the website that we have visited this Then again, if you have forgotten, it's on this page, uh, it stands product key, just copy and paste that into your virtual machine and you will be alright. Once you have waited for a long time in my case, until it's installed, you can choose your color, which is grey. I go for pink, since everyone tends to call me gay. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see, uh, I like grey to orange styled and I'm going to name one tech in bits PC oh wow can I copy this that's always the problem since my uh, keyboards are uh, azrt instead of qwerty so just click next for that and I will use express settings thank you do I need to fill that in oh you son of a so as you guys know it's Enios odds and where the hell is that odd can you believe this I actually needed to look up what this type of Dutch keyboard is because it definitely isn't an SRT keyboard so I have filled in that and I can finally click next and then he's checking for a Microsoft account that I don't need oh well I'll, th I'll, I'll just fill in these informations so once you have installed uh, the operating system and have filled in all these information so that Microsoft can spam the hell out of your mailbox which in my case I declicked that box to receive information I, I swear to God if I get spam from Microsoft I'm going to tell them not to do so so as with the Macintosh you get uh, a lot of questions since they want to know everything they even ask they even asked for my mother's name. Can you believe that? I really don't understand what's the purpose of my mother's name, but oh well, at least that's uh we have Windows eight now down to e and here we are boom chuck luck 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 yeah, 
we have metro styled windows 8 thingy so i will put a link in the description to go to part 2 or the explanation about windows 8 and how to configure this correctly in uh, your virtual machine so click on that but first of all you need to click that subscribe button otherwise i will be mad in the second part of this video right comment and subscribe if you liked it please thumbs up this video i do like you so i couldn't do without you you're my audience and i do like you become a pro subscribe to tech and bits